13 years together, four years of engagement, three wedding dates and two honeymoon bookings later, <laughs> and we've made it. This wedding has been a long time coming, but if anything, I think that's made the occasion even more important to us because it certainly hasn't been without its challenges trying to make it to happen. We are finally here. Woohoo! And it's only taken three long years. Nobody thought we would make it today. Not even COVID could get in our way. We've cursed and we've cried. It's been thoroughly hateful. So to be here at last makes us terribly grateful. Today is the start of great things to come. So I thought we'd have a chat about Cat and Tom. I think the year was 2006 when these two lovebirds had their first kiss. They then had a break until 2011 when Tom decided to change his profession. By leaving the army and pursuing our cat, she no longer resisted. Thank God for that. <laughs> Well, what can I say? A beautiful day and the setting is amazing. But most of all, how beautiful Catherine looks. Being the father of the bride today has made me feel more pride than I thought a person could feel. My daughter Catherine now begins a life and there will be another person who she will turn to for love and protection. But I want her to know that I, her father, will always be there for her. Incredible doesn't even begin to do justice today. There are endless compliments I could give you, but I believe the single best compliment I can offer you is that all of your qualities, attributes and character make me want to be the best version of myself. We are extremely proud of you as being a wonderful daughter, sister, friend and work colleague to us all. I, Tom Griffin, take you, Catherine Davis, to be my wedded wife. I, Catherine Davis, take you, Tom Griffin, to be my wedded husband. I now pronounce you man and wife. You make us a wife. But seriously, Kat, you have helped to teach me important lessons and ones which I believe have made our relationship continually stronger. You have helped to teach me how to be more humble, more respectful, more considered, measured and more ambitious, to name a few. This list could go on, but fundamentally you've teached me how to be a better person. All we ask of you, Tom, is that you take care of Catherine. She is very special to us. And you both have a wonderful married life together. You're a wonderful guy, and in our eyes, you have been part of the family from day one. But now we can officially welcome you into the family. I'm extremely proud to now call you my son-in-law. And to both of you, neither of you will ever be perfect, but you can... <laughs> but, but, but you can be perfect together. And may your love be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to last forever.
I don't know what the future holds for you both, and I know that years from now, many things will have happened that we cannot predict. But whatever happens, and wherever you go, your mum, Bev, Haley, John, and myself will know you will always have each other's love, and you will always have ours.